And once you follow that lead blocker, look at the space out here, man. I mean, this is just insane. It's super consistent. You're going to get this a lot. And the blocking is just so phenomenal. I mean, I'm in love with this play. It's such a good play. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the mad. She's always got another video out of my favorite playbook in the game, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I know this is my favorite book, and I've been putting out a lot of videos from the Baltimore Ravens. It's the, person, it's the playbook I'm using right now, personally. I love the Baltimore Ravens playbook. It's one of the largest ebooks that I put out this year as well. Definitely one of the best when it comes to running and passing. Uh, but I know that you guys might not necessarily be into it. So if you guys want to see, I'm giving you guys a chance right now, an opportunity right now, to let me know in the comment section what playbook you guys would like me to work on. When I say work on, I mean I'm going to make it my personal playbook and use it for like two weeks straight. I'll probably put up a poll. Uh, and you can only put up like four options. So give me some good options. Let me know in this video, in the comment section of this video, what options I should put on that poll. I can do, I mean, I did an ebook out of every single playbook except for like maybe four teams in the entire game. So let me know in the comment section. Let, I, I need you guys' help. I was thinking of going back to the Niners because the Niners are pretty popular. Um, other than that, I would think, I mean, I already did a lot of Saints. I'm not doing them anymore. The Niners and the Raiders are the two playbooks that I would say are probably going to be on that poll. Maybe the Packers, maybe the Patriots. There's a lot of teams that people really like. So let me know in the comment section what playbooks you, the community, use as I'm hitting my microphone. You, the community, use the most because I basically have no idea. I just basically use what I like to use. And the Ravens, to me, is the best playbook in the game, but it might not be to you guys. So let me know in the comment section. This is your opportunity for that. But today's video, I'm going to show you guys some run plays that I just recently found and I think that this might be one of the most overpowered run plays in the game. The formation itself is the gun Y off tree a week. The play though that I'm talking about is the buck sweep. This is a play where in previous years the buck sweep has had a really good iteration. Typically out of single back formations, you typically had a toss. This is actually a handoff but the buck sweep element is still there and you get some really overpowered blocking from the pulling guards. You can see I just I just found it and I'm, I'm averaging like 13 yards of carry. So this is a very overpowered run. I'm also going to show you guys the power read but let's go let's go right into our audibles so if i were to go to my audibles i would say the power read definitely there the halfback base is a very good inside run and then the buck sweep which is the money run that's going to be a huge play to the outside the passing play is going to be the pa post there if you guys want to see a video tomorrow where this play can hit a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game hit the like button let me know in the comment section i can put that out tomorrow i might put it out the day after but ultimately this is a play that can be found in pretty much any playbook in the game and it's a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game so hit the like button for that so let's go let's pick the buck sweep on the defensive side we're just going to go random uh we'll go random matching nickels now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below they're actually running a promotion right now where you can get for the entire year you can get six percent off anything on their site uh, because they do multiple multiple games they do uh mutt everything uh they do fifa they do um you know rocket league all that stuff you need anything it's six percent off if you use discount code email uh, which is something that uh, you know it's double what I was usually giving with my normal promotion code of money so check them out link in the description below just discount code email if you guys want to get some coins now as far as this play goes it's this is just an this is just an incredible play it's got to be new to the game this year I don't remember bucks we plays like this in the past all you're really gonna do is follow number 70 Woo! number 70 there is your lead blocker and look at all the space out here once he gets on that guy once he blows that edge up I mean the blocking of this play is just insane I mean this really reminds me of some of the better running plays in the past when it comes to uh, 
uh, to buck sweeps because they used to be really overpowered there. I mean, that guy just gets a piece of this guy right here to let me get outside or else it would have been blown up. But once you follow number 70, once you follow that lead blocker, look at the space out here, man. I mean, this is just insane. It's super consistent. You're going to get this a lot. This is definitely one of my favorite run plays in the game right now. I mean, this is a super consistent run play. And some of the other run plays I'm going to show you guys really have great counters. You can see, once again, 70, getting out on the edge, typically blocking a cornerback, swallowing up a cornerback or a safety. I mean, sometimes he'll get blocked early. He'll go, he'll, he'll gauge early. But he's really the guy to get out there. You can see right there, boom. He just blows that guy up. And look at how much space out there. I mean, this is like 20 to 30 yards with no real contesting. Uh, there's nothing really coming even close to me by the time I'm getting down the field for big runs. So let's go and do this again. Like I said, 70 is my dude. Woo! Following him. The receivers are blocking super sticky. They're sticking on the cornerbacks. And I'm just getting huge plays. Like I said, this is to me the best run play in the game. I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be, what the towel is going to be. Like I said, look at this. Look at the blocking downfield. Come on, 14. You could have helped out on that dude. Could have sprung me. 14 messed that whole play up. That would have been an easy touchdown. I'm going to move the ball over because this is super capable of touchdown runs. And how I run this play, I pretty much sprint the second I get the ball. A lot of people say that's not a good thing to do. But when you're running outside like this, it's the best thing to do. And the, and the blocking is just so phenomenal. I mean, I'm in love with this play. It's such a good play. The only other play that I really would run, I mean, the halfback base is a good run play inside you have that inside run option typically when people are, f are facing a, a gun formation like this they expect an inside run they expect an inside zone they expect a, a draw a halfback base something like that so if they're spread too far apart you could always run that i'm not a personally that's not my favorite inside run though that's something that is in the formation for people who like to run that uh, but ultimately my favorite inside run would be the power read and this play here i pretty much would only run this if I'm running the buck sweep and it looks like overloaded on that side, like we have a safety coming down the box there. So trying to get outside might be a, a daunting task. So hitting with a power read might be the best option as that safety will probably come down, take out this running back, and then I'll have an option to run inside with the quarterback. Now there, I mean, I'm pretty much running into that blitz anyway, so it didn't really get a huge gain, but that would be the second best option to me is running this play. And like I said, I pretty much always Psych. take the, uh, the ball with the quarterback. As you can see right here, I mean, I'm coming back the other way and we're getting a very big play. Like I said, this is a very very overpowered play too if you have a quarterback that is fast like Lamar Jackson or, or like any running quarterback really. So you got two really explosive options. Like I said, this one here might be as explosive Fight. as the original play. As you can see, I mean, I'm cutting back for a lot of really big gains. And this is just one of the better uh, run play tandems in the game. I know a lot of people don't like to run quarterback runs. That's probably the biggest Fight. deterrent. But you can see, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of opportunity in the opposite direction, too, which is something that a lot of people won't expect. One of the coolest things about this particular play is it really looks the same uh, as, as far as the pulling guards, as far as the animation of the handoff. Your opponent's going to think you're running the Bucks week the entire time. And then every once in a while, he's basically keeping with the quarterback. Psych. And you have opportunities for some really big runs that they won't be expecting. So definitely a good combination of two runs to run there. But we have a good passing play too. So let's go and let's pick the PA post dig shot. We're going to pick uh, Tampa 2 here to start. So this play here can be a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. It's definitely something that your opponent will not be expecting because it's really a run heavy formation. So against cover 2 zone, put the B route on an out route of 5 yards and put the RB route on a hitch. This is all you got to do. I'll slide my protection to the uh, right because I am going to throw to the X route. And then you're going to see how this X route here, once it gets to a certain point, is a very easy one play touchdown because the safety here kind of lags off now there he was lit up and he still didn't make the play in time now if you watch the safety on the right there he reacts really oddly to these short routes he basically just thinks that he has to stop and come down on these really short routes and he really kind of wanders to the right it has nothing to do with the fact that i'm moving with the quarterback by the way he wanders to the right regardless whether i stay in the pocket or whatever you can see he's totally out of position so once this guy this the receiver gets inside of his safety i just had the bullet and pass lead up now there didn't necessarily get the best throw but you can see i still get over the top and like i said this is something that you'll see as we do this more and more that we get more and more separation there are things you can do to make this separation work even better if you motion this receiver in he'll get around the zone chuck now he won't get zone chucked uh, by the uh, by the cornerback and he'll get a little bit more acceleration you can also just put these two guys on five yard out routes so you don't have to do the hitch uh, it's just you need a short route that's really the only thing that matters and then you can see here once again we have much more separation the other safety doesn't even come into play that time i didn't get the best throw and i had to back up a little bit as you can see I mean, we we're having a little bit of pressure issues even though i have a lot of coverage out here shouldn't be having that problem but i still am as you can see we get a bull rush animation here uh but you can see like i said he's getting over the top very easy one play touchdown that's probably the full setup motioning in that receiver makes it a lot easier it takes away the acceleration loss that you get from the zone chuck and then just putting these guys on five out routes is really what's going to be best also works against cover two man 
motion this guy in again. Like I said, we want to get rid of that zone chuck animation. We're going to do the exact same setup because it's going to be pretty much the safety is going to react the same way, whether it's cover two man or zone. And then boom, we're getting over the top once again, even with a cornerback trailing. Cover two man, one play touchdown. Cover two zone, one play touchdown. The exact same setup. What about cover three though? This is going to be one of the tougher ones. So let's go and let's pick that. Against cover three, you're going to want to do pretty much the exact same setup. I'll slide my protection uh, to the right. But you're going to want to do the exact same setup with the exception of you're going to want to put the B route on a 10-yard out route, which you're just going to have to smart route them. And basically that now that'll pull the cornerback down. I'm also going to want to put the Y route here on a streak. Now doing all this, as you can see, I'm going to just buy a little protection. We get a very easy one play touchdown to the uh, to the crossing receiver because the safety there really has to follow that uh, that running back back. It's going to work best from a hash mark, but you can really run it from anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and run it from the hash mark this time. Hash marks are always better when it comes to one play touchdowns, but you can run it from anywhere on the field. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, I forgot to slap my protection there. I'll just have to roll out of the pocket. The rolling out is not important, by the way. I'm only doing that because I don't trust my protection. That's why I use Lamar Jackson in these videos. You can see we get another easy one play touchdown. So we're just going to watch what this uh, cornerback does here, how he reacts to the route combo. And you can see, number one, he, he reacts to the out route, which is probably a good move. But then once he turns his attention to the crossing receiver, he just completely glitches out. He just starts like juking himself. I don't know if he thinks he's tackling an invisible running back or what, but he just has no idea what to do. If a guy did all this extra stuff, he should probably be out of the league. I mean, this is something that if you saw this on game tape footage, who are you covering? Air? I mean, this is just one of the, one of the best reactions you're going to get in Madden when it comes to how glitchy this play is. Let's go and let's do this one more time. As we can watch this cornerback just completely glitch himself out. Once again, he has no idea where the play is or where he should be, and we get a very easy one play touchdown over the top. Definitely one of the glitchiest plays in the game. So that's cover three. Cover one typically reacts the same, but let's go and let's pick that. Cover three and cover one look the exact same, so we're just gonna give ourselves the exact same setup. So no matter what, you know, the shell looks like cover three or cover one, if we can't tell, it doesn't matter. And we're going to have the exact same route doing the exact same thing. Our running back or our, our defensive end got knocked down. I was so taken by that animation, I threw the ball late, but we still got the touchdown. I was watching that dude get clobbered. And you can see we have the exact same setup. This year, though, we probably want to run from the other hash mark. We don't want to shorten the field on a one play touchdown against cover one. If you're running against cover one, I mean, this setup here would be ideal. I mean, you obviously can just put the B route here on a drag give yourself a really good check down. The B route, or the RB route here, you see gets open right over the middle. That's a really good man beater. The B route drag, obviously, is a really good man beater. So if it is actually somebody running a lot of cover one, this is going to be the best setup. But you can run it the cover three way, and it's going to have the exact same effect as far as what routes get open. So here we go once again. Like I said, just basically wait for this guy to get across. Very easy one play touchdown against cover one and cover three. And then next up, we have our cover fours. We'll start off with cover four quarters. When it comes to cover for quarters, the best thing to do is motion this guy and just put the A route on a 10 yard comeback. That's all you really have to do. Uh, and you're going to get uh, really good results. Buying time, once again, might be the biggest issue. But that basically is just going to isolate this receiver back, receiver on this cornerback. That's all you really have to do is isolate that receiver, which if you don't make that adjustment, he actually gets covered pretty good. Like I said, if I just leave it as is, a lot of times this second safety will come over. And you can see here, even this, even the cornerback didn't really get, I mean, the receiver didn't really get separation. So you really just have to put this, uh, this A right here on a 10 yard comeback. That will make the, the safety in his area react. And then, you, like I said, you can see you just get a very big play over the top. So very little setup when it comes to cover four quarters. Cover four contain is even less. This play can be a natural one play touchdown against cover four, but putting the B route and the RB route on drags is going to make the most sense. That's going to work the best. And then you just basically have to wait for this X route here to cross that free safety and get a little bit of a better throw. But you can see I almost had that. We'll do that one more time. Before we do, though, just watch this safety. Like I said, this safety here will drop down super low. You can see the depth difference between these two guys. And that's really what you're hoping for is once he gets inside that safety and over the top of the strong safety, it's a very big play. So we'll go and do that one more time. So we basically just have to buy time, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then it's really all about timing when it comes to this throw. As you can see, we barely got it in there. That was a little bit behind. But you can see it's a one play touchdown against cover four. We're going to do it one more time. Like I said, I'd like to get a better separation look than that. Like I said, it's really about when you throw it. 
and how much of a bullet and pass lead away you get. Like, there we go. That's a much better bullet and pass lead. As you can see, it's a very easy one play touchdown. Much more separation there. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, a combination of a one play touchdown and some really good run plays, uh, or you want to see more plays out of the Ravens, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. See you.